this has the feel of a victory. Uh, this has the feel of a victory. Now, CBS just came out that was slightly behind, you know, way up from where it was. And I think I'm a much better fit. Uh, Ted Cruz is in favor of Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's going to destroy, that is going to destroy Wisconsin. He's in favor of not talking about monetary manipulation with Trans-Pacific Partnership, which in a certain way is worse. You know, he's the one that killed the monetary manipulation clause. Because what they're doing, and how countries are beating us, and beating us badly, is with currency devaluation. And Ted Cruz was the one that fought that, and kept it out. And on top of that, he's in favor of TPP. <laughs> Look, TPP is going to be worse, in my opinion, than NAFTA. And it's going to do tremendous damage to the country, but it's going to do tremendous damage to the economy of Wisconsin. And everybody knows. And Ted Cruz doesn't want to talk about it. You know, in all fairness, when they're spending millions and millions of dollars, and it's club for growth, who are extortionists, they came to my office, they asked me for a million dollars. I said no. They then wrote me a letter asking me for a million dollars. I didn't even know who they were. I said, you know, I don't want to give you a million dollars. Who are these people? And your egg up. They came to my office. They asked you me have for a million dollars. I don't know if you, you know about this. Take it to Orange. Club for growth. They come to my office. They asked me for a million dollars. They write me a letter asking me for a million dollars. I said no, thank you. And now they're doing negative ads all over the place. That's called extortion. I'm taking tremendous negative publicity for Club for Growth, which asked me for a million dollars, and I said no. <laughs> okay. Now, if I would have given them the million dollars, see, that's politics. If I would have said, here's a million dollars, probably would have been better off. If I would have said, here's a million dollars, they wouldn't have been doing negative ads on me. Okay? But then I, at least I have the, you know, the loudspeaker that can tell you people about it. You made a mistake with the retweet of the picture of Ted Cruz's wife. I'm curious with this sort of back and forth on abortion this week and also the, the photos. Is there anything else you might have done differently in, in Wisconsin or this past week that would change? A lot of people called me up on abortion. They had some tremendous support. I mean, tremendous support on the whole way the abortion question was answered, including the first answer. Okay? Tremendous support. Um, so we're going to have to just see how it all turns out. I think we're doing very well. Cases shouldn't be allowed to run. Honestly, Casey should not be allowed to run. And I'll go opposite on you. He hurts Trump much more than he hurts Cruz. And in New York, I, had, I have tremendous numbers in New York. And I have tremendous numbers in Pennsylvania. Those two numbers just came out from CBS. I guess you saw them. But Kasich shouldn't be allowed to run. Look, under the grounds that Rand Paul could have stayed in, and he had nothing. Marco Rubio could have stayed in. Jeb Bush could have stayed in. They all could have stayed in. They could have just stayed in. That's all he's doing. He's one for 29. And the one thing that he won barely, and if I spent one more day in Ohio, I would have beaten him because I came pretty close. The only thing Kasich won was Ohio, where he's the governor, and where he has the machine work, which isn't doing well. It's in the middle of the pack of his neighbors. He's only in the middle of his pack. He's not doing well in Ohio. If you look at his neighboring states, he's exactly in the middle of the pack. That's not great. Kasich shouldn't be allowed to continue, and the RNC shouldn't allow him to continue. And Kasich has more of an impact on me than he does a, a Cruz, in my opinion. I mentioned it to the RNC. I said, why is a guy allowed to run? All he's doing is just he goes from place to place and loses, and he keeps running. Well, why doesn't Marco Rubio do that? Why doesn't Jeb Bush do that? Why didn't all of them do that? After it was their time. Now, if he wants to go and have his name put in nomination in the convention, in the convention he can do that. He doesn't have to run and take my votes because he's taking my votes. He's not taking Cruz's votes. He's taking my votes. In fact, a poll came out recently where he affects Trump much more than he affects Cruz. And in the East, where I'm dominating, he's taking my votes. So it's very unfair that Kasich stays in. Did you, ra did you raise these concerns to Reince Priebus? I, I mentioned it to him. I think it's very unfair. Kasich is, is it 29? I think it's 1 for 29 or 1 for 28. Now, when you're 1 for 28, well, other people were doing much better than Kasich, and they left the race because they knew they couldn't win. Now, if he wants to have his name put in, 
which is what he's looking to do because he can't win. He's so far behind. But if he wanted to have his name put in, he can have his name put in. We cannot continue to defend the world. There's no bigger threat than nuclear. I know that better than anyone. I know more about nuclear than anybody. You know, the problem is the press only puts one thing, let J Japan arm. I'm not saying that. I'm saying Japan, you have to pay us more. We're losing too much money. We have 19 trillion in debt. We're losing our shirts. We can't do it. Germany, you have to pay us more. Saudi Arabia, you wouldn't be there if it wasn't for us. You have to pay us more. Nobody ever says that. They all say Trump wants them done. I think what will happen is they will probably pay much more, which will be a tremendous help to the United States. Among other things, we're going to trade new trade deals and everything else, but among other things. Now, when they pay us more, that will be a tremendous help. But nobody talks about that. They only say, I want them to arm. I don't want them to arm. I want them to pay us more. Now, if they don't pay us more, then we have a big decision to make. But my decision would be they're going to have to defend themselves. Look, it's going to be very interesting. All I know is I'm here. I'm loving it. I'm having a great time. I, and I think I'm going to win Wisconsin. I actually think I'm going to win. Now, you have these dishonest radio hosts who want the establishment to win because you have a whole big thing going over here between advertisers and campaign contributions and all of the crooked stuff that you have going, thank you. All of, don't worry about my eggs being gold. Don't worry. They don't feel, they don't feel guilty. This is the press. They have no guilt about my eggs his being. His eggs are cold now, right. so you should allow me to eat Then I'll say you your food is terrible. Then I'll blend Exactly, black all that. I'll have an orange juice. Sir. Don't feel guilty. They see the press is a bit. They see my eggs. We do feel guilty now. They see my eggs are dying. Nobody said, oh, please, Mr. Trump, please have your breakfast. Hey, I don't need it. I don't need it. One other thing, and then you guys go and have breakfast or something. But one other thing I think that's important. It's very unfair, the 1237. The reason it's very unfair, and I think I'll get there. I think I'll get there. But the reason it's very unfair is the following. When I started, there were 17 candidates. You know, people never say this. I've never even heard it said. When I, I didn't have two candidates or four candidates. I had 17 candidates. Most of those candidates were accomplished people. You had governors, you had senators, you had people like Dr. Ben Carson, who's endorsed me and is an amazing guy. You had a lot of accomplished people. And you had a lot of people. The biggest field ever in the history of, of what we're doing. When I went to those first primary states, we had many, many people on the ballot. And I won, you know, I could win with a small, basically small number. And the small number is like a, a phenomenal number that you could get that much. But what's unfair is this, we had 17 candidates, those early states, there were so many people, and one was getting two votes, you know, 2%, and one was getting 5% and 4%. And while I would win most, they took so many votes away from me because, you know, their favorite sons, etc., etc. It's very unfair. I have to get 1237. But on a lot of those early, there were so many candidates that if you got 30% or 25%, you'd win and it would be an unbelievable victory. And somebody should point it out. I think I'm going to do really well in Wisconsin. Anything that you said over the past week and a half, maybe the retweet hurts you with women voters? It might. Um, but I'll tell you, I've had, I've been doing very well with women voters because they feel that I'll do the best with the military. They feel that I'll do the best with security. They feel I'll do the best with, with the borders. Everybody feels I'll do the best. Hey, look, I just got the endorsement of the Border Patrol police. They never endorsed anybody. The Border Patrol, these are incredible people. They endorse Trump. Um, you look at Sheriff Joe in Arizona, he had endorsed Trump. I have the endorsement. I have the endorsement of many of the great evangelicals, including Jerry Falwell Jr., who helped me a lot with you know the evangelicals, because I'm winning the evangelical vote. I think I'm gonna do great with women because they they want great security, they want the military. I'm winning in all those, and I'll tell you where I'm really winning more than anybody by far is jobs in the economy. Okay. But given the controversies, how do you run against Hillary Clinton as the first? Because I think she'll be terrible. I think she's got terrible judgment. I think she was terrible as a person that made terrible mistakes like Benghazi, like Libya. You know that ISIS has taken over Libya and they have the Libyan oil right now? ISIS. That was Hillary Clinton's baby. And ISIS has taken over the oil in Libya, which is great oil, by the way. Um, I think she is so deficient 
on security. She is so deficient on the border. She is so weak in so many ways that I think I will beat her easily. But I haven't started on her yet. 